Happy Sunday, boys and girls. It is so good to be back here with you guys. Listen, we just spent weeks talking about Easter and learning about Easter and how amazing that whole holiday is and everything that we celebrate. And we're gonna start a new series now. And this is a new series about making choices, making choices to follow Jesus. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. But before we start, I want you guys to stand up and I want you guys to sing with us. We are gonna worship Jesus because he is so good. And then we're gonna come back here for our lesson.
worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever save. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Oh, we live for you.
Wasn't that so good, boys and girls? Thank you so much for worshiping with me. Okay, like I said, today we're gonna talk about making the choice. Should I follow Jesus? Jesus is the most amazing man ever, right? He's walked on water, he healed the sick, he died for us, and he rose again. So many miracles Jesus did. Jesus is good, he's 100% good. Boys and girls, in life, we should choose to follow Jesus because he loves us, he created us, and when we follow him, we have a more rich life, a more fulfilling life, a more grace-filled life. Boys and girls, I want you to watch this video about a rich young man that met Jesus one day. I want you to watch what he says to Jesus and what his question is. He asks Jesus a very specific question. Boys and girls, watch this video. Think about that question and listen to Jesus' answer and then we're gonna come back right here and we'll talk about it. One day, Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem. A rich young leader came running to Jesus. He got down on his knees and asked Jesus a question. Good teacher, what do I need to do to live with you forever in heaven when I die? Good teacher, why do you call me good? Only God is truly good. I believe you are from God, teacher. Hmm. Well, to answer your question, you know the Ten Commandments, right? You must not murder. You must not be unfaithful to your wife. You must not steal. You must not tell lies. You must not cheat anyone. Honor your father and mother. Oh yes, teacher. I've obeyed all these commandments since I was a kid. Is that all? Jesus looked at the man with a smile. He loved this young man. Jesus really wanted this man to follow him and could see what was holding him back. Well then, there's still one thing you haven't done. Go and sell everything you own and give your money to the poor so you will have treasure in heaven. Then I want you to come follow me and be one of my disciples. When the man heard this, his face fell. Instead of saying yes to Jesus' offer, he walked away, feeling sad. He didn't want to give up his stuff. It would be easier for a camel to walk through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. You can't get there holding on to the things you love here on earth. You have to let go of the things on earth to grab on to the things of heaven. The disciples wondered, who in the world could be saved then? Isn't that too hard for anyone to do? With your own human strength, it is impossible. But with God's strength, everything is possible. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples said, we've given up everything to follow you, Jesus. Yes, you have. And I promise you that everyone who has given up everything to follow me and spread the good news will receive a reward a hundred times better. In life on earth, You'll face hard times and suffering, but you'll get eternal life. Those who are the greatest now will be the least important then. Those who seem the least important now will be the greatest in heaven. Boys and girls, what did you think of that? Let's recap that story really quick. So the rich young man came to Jesus and he said, you are good. How do I get how do I get eternal life? Right? How do I live forever? And first Jesus said, "Why do you say that I am good?" And he talked about how God Jesus said only God is good, right? We know that Jesus is good. He is 100% good. That doesn't mean you and I aren't good. We all do good things, but we are not 100% good like Jesus was. And then Jesus talked about some of the commandments, right? And the, the young man said, I do all those. I do those, I'm, I'm good at that. And then Jesus said, sell your possessions and follow me. And what did the young man do? He walked away sad, didn't he? 
He loved his things. He loved his possessions, his clothes, maybe jewels he had, shoes that he had. He loved those and didn't want to part with those. And so he chose not to follow Jesus. Boys and girls, following Jesus isn't just about following rules. It's not just saying, I cannot lie, I cannot steal, I cannot you know, yell at my mom and dad. Following Jesus is about giving him our whole heart, about having a relationship with him. And that means that we don't hold on to the things of this world. We don't, we don't worry about what, or what house we live in and what kind of car we drive. Yes, it's okay if, if we have those things and that they're nice things, but that's not what defines us. That's not what we live for when we follow Jesus. The rich young man didn't make the right choice, right? We're talking about choices and he didn't make the right choice. But boys and girls, you can make the right choice. I make the choice to follow Jesus every day. Even the days where I'm really discouraged, even the days when I wanna give up hope, I choose to follow Jesus and keep doing what I think Jesus has called me to do. And boys and girls, that's what you should do. You can choose to wake up joyfully every morning and you can choose to have prayer time with Jesus and you can choose to be a good friend to all your friends and really let the light of Jesus in you shine out. That's what we do when we follow Jesus. Jesus never said, I'm gonna make you super rich. Jesus never said, I'm gonna make life super easy, even though sometimes I wish he did, really. But he didn't. But he said he'll always be there with us and he'll never leave us. And that is true. So whatever we go through in life, if we choose to follow Jesus, he's right there with us. Boys and girls, that is your choice. I want you guys to think about that. I want you to think about following Jesus and talk to him. And you can talk in your classes more about this right now. Boys and girls, after this video, we've got a really fun craft for you to do. You're gonna make a sandal, a little paper sandal, and you're gonna remember that with that sandal, you're gonna to choose to follow Jesus. I'll see you next week.